Hello, welcome to Perspectives on the Voice of America. I'm Dimiake Mwakalielie. There have been numerous and varied efforts over the years to raise global concern about Africa. Big time entertainment has played a role. The multi-city Live Aid concert in 2005 was a huge success. And more recently, there is Africa Rising, a concert series spearheaded by the Nigerian newspaper This Day. Africa Rising recently played for the first time outside the continent in Washington, and an upcoming date is set in London. Thank you all for coming to share this historic moment with Africa. That historic moment was the Africa Rising event, a whirlwind evening of high fashion modeling and big time entertainment that came to Washington recently to raise awareness for Africa. Nigerian newspaper publisher Nduka Obaikbena is the inspiration behind the festival. They're using music and fashion and culture as a vehicle to the hearts and minds of the people of the world to share with them that the best news out of Africa is not bad news. Renowned Senegalese singer Yusundur kicked off the event followed by Grammy Award winner John Legend and one of the biggest names in the hip-hop industry, Jay-Z. The aim of the festival was to highlight African possibilities instead of problems through entertainment. It draws attention. It makes people think. We are three great designers here from Africa. They are the best and they can be the best anywhere in the world. So the audience here must wonder that if this can come out of Africa, perhaps we should look towards Africa for investment. Fashion designers Fatih Esebolwa, whose line is called Momo, and Diola Sagoe showed off their haute couture fashions, and jewelry designer Chris Ire, his million dollar diamond collection. And strutting their stuff, top fashion models Alek Wek of Sudan, Oluchi Onwegba of Nigeria, and Tyson Beckford. Ire told reporters his diamonds are conflict-free. We should not stop using diamonds. I think we should support it, but just make sure that, you know, we ask questions. Five-time Grammy Award winner John Legend says when committed, celebrities can be very effective in bringing attention to important issues. I also encourage artists to learn about what they're talking about, not just to kind of show up and take the picture but really do the research and find out about the organizations you work with and follow up, don't just do it once. Obagbena says lack of proper infrastructure and resources in Nigeria is the reason he decided to bring the concert to Washington and in October to London. It was more difficult to host it in Nigeria because we had to provide infrastructure. But here it's plug and play. Many of the people who attended the event said they were attracted by the entertainment lineup, but that they also wanted to support the cause for Africa. Where black people get our swag, our style, our flavor from, it's from the motherland. So to pay tribute to that in the form of fashion and music tonight, I thought was really good. No better way to raise money for a good cause than a concert, so I loved it. So today we didn't talk about AIDS, you know, people were just cheering, African people, you know, with a lot of people, so, you know, I, I'm happy. Obag Bena says Africa Rising is just one of many avenues he's using to raise awareness for ways to find sustainable solutions for Africa. Yosundur and other artists also stressed the need to not show pity for Africa, but instead embrace its rich culture and history. And that's it for today. For breaking news, features, and more from Africa and around the world, please go to voanews.com. And please tune in next week for our special coverage of the Democratic Convention in Denver, Colorado. We leave you now with more highlights from the Africa Rising concert. I'm Dimiake Mokalielie for The Voice of America.